Previously on Mercy Point. But let me tell you something, Drew Breslauer is absolutely the last thing on my mind. I'll stay out of your way if you stay out of mine. Is that fair enough? Fair enough. May I ask you a question, Dylan? Sure, anything. Are you seeing anyone? The question was completely inappropriate. I don't know if you're malfunctioning or what, but you better get yourself a tune-up fast. Maybe you should consider a transfer. I can't do that. Why not? Because everything and everyone I care about is here. Sat system born human female, age 27, hearts in major flux and rest was extremely heavy. She's got it pretty bad. Who's the doctor on call? Dr. Dorado's on his way. Don't worry, CJ's gonna take really good care of you. She knows that. Oh, what's wrong? What's, what's How about a slight relapse? No, 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 no. Try to relax, Dr. Preslauer. You're in good hands now. Okay, ladies, give me a little room so I can get a closer look. Hey, mm. what's the problem? <sighs> I don't know. Shortness of breath. <sighs> Slight tingling sensation. Breslauer. Were you dreaming? Oh, what? I'm sorry to wake you, but we're having a problem with your alien patient in Recovery 7, and everyone else is occupied. <sighs> the thwack. Let's hear it. Cardio pulse is 20 to 80 over 49. Atrophy levels are 60 percent above normal and rising. Pip, is this a reaction to the flaw murder that I described? A thwack has no known adverse reaction to gastric hyperbotics. Post off dosage was customary. We've got atrophy swelling here. Trachea is closing off. Let's tube him. Oh, tube, wide open. Has he been getting anything else in the last 12 hours? There's nothing on his chart. Amazing critical. Give me 30 megs of G plus in that O2. Hip, Pace Dr. Maxwell, Kogar. There you are. What happened? I thought you were coming by last night. I was until we got called to that new Krell port they're building. There's an alien protest over job quotas and things got nasty when some of the demonstrators started swinging their flippers at a construction crew. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But one of the aliens got hammered pretty hard. He's on his way over in a medcraft now. Ah, uh, yes. Another day, another derm refuse. <laughs> Hang in there. This time next month, we'll both be headed out on the next Sahartic mission. Ah, knock steel. <laughs> Hey, did you get that letter of recommendation? Oh, not yet. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you better get on it, CJ. You can ace all the tests and turn in the best mission app in the world, but at the end of the day, who you know is how to go. I hear you. I'd score a letter from the primary alien physiologist if I were you. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll talk to Gro. Mmm, good idea, but wait 15 minutes, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Spill it. Patient presented at 0200 yesterday with severe gastric inflammation. Dodging cavities were emptied and I put him on four megs of ridicule. Reaction? Inflammation reduced as expected. We were just holding him in recovery until his fever broke. And then respiratory failure started. Half an hour ago. We put him on O2 and 30 megs of G plus, but he's not responding. After being Full respiratory critical. cessation imminent. All right, relax, fella. I don't like this any more than you do. Yeah, it's his calium sac. It regulates autonomic functions. I don't know why, but it's... Totally seized up. Good to mix. And Fedetrine. Another 30 G plus. We're gonna have to juice this cow set. 50 megs. No, come on, big guy. Come on. Another 50 megs. No, give me 100 megs. 100 megs. Hip. Cow sack failure imminent. Complete autonomic descent. Over a case of heartburn? All vital functions negative. What the hell just happened?
<laughs> Where's the fire? Uh, nowhere. Uh, sorry. Hey, you all right? Uh, I just lost my first patient. Human or alien? Does it matter? No. Listen. I'm sure you did everything you could. Multiple fractures, head and torso. Dermal lacerations and abrasions. Anything else, Hippocrates? The patient has also sustained a ruptured posterior Leflin tube, which, if not repaired, may result in param seepage. That's all it's so fucked up. Hippocrates accessed the translation files. While I speak 17 languages, I am not fluent in Souchere. Fasa Kavral. It wishes to know where he is, and though he understands Earth English, refuses to speak it. Very well. You are at Mercy Point Hospital. I am Dr. Batak. Because there are humans working here, he demands to be transferred to another facility. While I may sympathize with your displeasure, you are still in need of immediate medical attention. He will never be touched again by humans, and cannot stand the sight of them. The result, I assume, of your feeding in the Krellport Malay? He says the humans treat the Souchere like a lower life form. When he tried to protest, this is what they did to him. I realize the interspecies labor laws are not yet fully resolved, but until they are, I suggest you seek out a safer way to vent your complaints. The only thing that humans understand is violence. Historically speaking, that may be true, but there are notable exceptions, and Mercy Point is one of them. Are you telling him it is safe here? While the humans here might often be annoying and offensive, I assure you they are not dangerous. Since I am your doctor, you will suffer no human contact. My word. Hey! It's the uh, one Drew lost this morning. She didn't do it on her own. Yeah, well, you may need to give her the death as part of medicine speech anyway. Well, it might be easier if I knew what killed him. You know what? I'm gonna leave you to figure it out on your own. You always do. You need something? No. Yeah, sorry. You know, I'm uh, closing in on the short list for the next Sahardic mission, and my sources <laughs> tell me that uh, a letter of recommendation from you could help me to seal the deal. <clears throat> what exactly is it that Kim would like me to write? You know, nothing fancy, a little something about how incredibly gifted I am, maybe a brief mention of how you tell me everything you know about alien medicine. I will make it sing. And you will owe me big time. Deal. My future is in your hands. Well, that and a cow sack. Think again for me. Well, there's definitely been some damage to the retinal membrane. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. What sort of work do you do, Miss Collinswood? Oh, please, call me Joanne. And I am a space cartographer. I design flight charts into the Sahartic. I mean, spending countless hours staring through those blasted spectra views, I'm afraid, but until you've tracked a pulsar wave in four second flashes back from Oberon, you don't know the meaning of mesmerizing. Ah, oh, that, that certainly does sound exciting. But it's cost you nearly 60% of your vision. Light increase 0.5. I'm sorry, is that too much? Light decrease 0.3? That's better, thanks. So, it's time for another eye transplant again, is it? How about green this time? Might make for a nice change of pace. Another eye transplant? You mean you've had this done before? Oh, yes. Dr. Gerardo's personally performed the last two. Not that I enjoy the procedure one bit, mind you, but it is a fine consolation having CJP the first vision I see when my wraps are removed. I can only imagine. <laughs> I want these tested for platelet integrity and then cross-checked for abnormalities with our THWAC database. Of course, Dr. Maxwell. And then on a full molecular chem scan. Rush job if you can swing it, Bartok. Whatever you need. Thanks. 
growth. Come up with anything yet? No. And this is a species I'm supposed to know better than just about any other. Doesn't mean we know everything. Um, how many alien patients do we lose in a year? Five, maybe six. We've lost that many in the last six months. Yeah, but our occupancy rate's up nearly 30% in the last year, so more patients, more deaths, no? I know. I mean, you're probably right, but um, the way that thwack went down, I... I'll tell you what. If it makes you feel any better, I'll scan all the files from last year and double-check for any regularities, okay? Okay. Great. Oh, Dr. Preslauer, when you have a moment, I would very much like to speak with you about your dream this morning. Oh, come again? I'm simply curious what it feels like. Oh, uh, sure, Ani, maybe we could talk about it later. Uh, but I need to talk to you now. Okay. About? Joanne Collingswood. Joni, is she here? Exam two, and she's asking for another eye transplant. Simple enough, what's the problem? The problem is this woman's been changing her eyes the way some people change their minds. There's bound to be some cumulative damage. Don't you think that a third eye transplant is a little risky? First of all, Joni is not a little girl. She makes her own decisions. And second of all, there are people who are willing to push themselves in order to break new ground. Are you sure you're not confusing what you want with what's best for her? We're not here to run our patients' lives, Drew. If you're uncomfortable with what she wants, I'll take the case, all right? Good. She'll be thrilled. Gro, got a sec? Sure. Well, there's nothing conclusive, but on a quick scan of the records, it shows that four aliens died of complications outside and beyond what they were admitted for. But two of these are virtual unknowns. Which means no matter what we did, it was a crapshoot. But you have to admit that the third, the Kermeset and the Thwok... ...are harder to explain. Hmm. Dr. Breslau or Dr. Maxwell, Dr. DeMilla has asked to see you in the conference room immediately. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Arnie. Halen Breslauer, Director of Medicine, Grove Maxwell, Chief Alien Physiologist. Stenneth Locke. Chief Independent Investigator for the Interspecies Council and his, his aide, Mr. Cushing. Investigator? What brings you here? Well, I'll tell you. Your non-human patients appear to be dying faster than you can save them. Although anonymous and so far untraceable, we received a very disturbing call informing us that what you call aliens are dying at Mercy Point, and not from natural causes. An anonymous call. It's obviously nothing more than a wild accusation by a disturbed mind. Perhaps. And your further inquiry by my staff has left us with some cause for concern. Am I correct in understanding that the Foc de Langer died here just this morning? Yes, it did. And according to our information, the doctor in charge was a new resident, Drew Breslauer. No, Dr. Breslauer was under my supervision when we lost the thwack. Then since no official report has yet been filed, perhaps you can fill us all in on the cause of death. We don't customarily file a report until we've determined the COD. So it wasn't from natural causes? I wouldn't go that far. We're still looking into it. Good. So am I. Are you suggesting that the death of any alien here, regardless of cause, might actually have been committed by a member of our staff? Considering Mercy Point's experimental charter to treat all species, I can't afford to rule out anything. I'll need full access to all patient records of all non-humans who died here over the past 24 months, as well as uninterrupted use of your conference room to depose your staff. I have a hospital to run here. And I have the full authority of the council, Doctor. Of course, if, as you claim, these are merely wild accusations, I should think you'd want that proven as soon as possible, no? We'll cooperate with your investigation in any way we can. I'm sure you will. Doctors. And how is it that I was the last to know about all of this? We just started putting the pieces together an hour ago, Harris. When I couldn't figure out how we lost the thwack, we went back to the records to see if maybe we weren't doing something wrong. He's saying Locke might actually go to something here. Oh, not at all, Harris. Nobody's killing anybody. There's a perfectly sound medical explanation for all of this. All right. But if you uncover anything suspicious, I want to hear about it immediately. How are you feeling, Johnny? Hey. Much better now you're here. Oh. <laughs> so, 
Been having fun out there? Yeah, gobs of it. I'm halfway through charting an extraordinary cluster of nebula corsars in the Delta Quadrant. That's where the next mission's headed, you know. So I've heard. All right, it's time to go nighty-night so I can get this started. It was green you wanted, right? Only if you approve. You'll always be a looker to me, Johnny. <laughs> okay, and relax. There we go. Hip, give me a full pre-op scan of the ocular cavities and surrounding nerves. The pre-op scan shows retinal lesions in both orbit configurations. Par for the course. Isolate the nerve stems, would you? Nerve stems indicate significant corrosive degeneration of the optic sheaths. I can see that. Question is, how bad? 92% corrosion in the left optic nerve sheath, 85% in the right. This isn't going to work. That is correct, Dr. Gerardo. An eye transplant would prove ineffective in restoring any of the patient's vision. Molly. I'll need a nurse to help me set a tib fib in exam three. Well, if we can ever finish downloading all these stats, that shouldn't be a problem. What's going on? ISC investigation. They're making us hand over every chart for an alien death for the last two years. This isn't about the thwack, is it? No, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Rumor has it they think someone's been pushing aliens over the edge. Name and species? Nagnom. I'm a Salafibe. Position at Mercy Point? I've been an orderly for almost three years. How would you characterize the treatment of non-humans here, Nagnom? Well, pretty good, I guess. Every new species that comes in takes some getting used to, and uh, not all of them are easy. Have you yourself ever felt threatened by a doctor in any way? By a doctor? Yes. Uh, once I told a patient a joke that uh, made him laugh, and he laughed so hard it caused a cotter line on his stomach to come open. I see. And how did this human threaten you? He said he would stitch my mouth shut. Well, but he wasn't a human. It was Dr. Batum. I want to hear the joke? Excuse me, Ellen. I got the molecular chem scan back from autopsy. The thwok had 40 megs of circulin in the system. 40 megs? That's more than four times normal. Right, it would be like you and I ODing on insulin. Yeah, but circulin being an alien hormone would make it look like he died of natural causes. I mean, somebody could have easily dosed him and gotten away with look, it. Let's not jump to conclusions. That's Locke's job. This thwok could have died of a million different causes, far less dramatic than murder. All right, well, either way, we've got to tell Harris. Not until we're sure. He said himself he wanted to know if we found something suspicious. Let's just be sure. I'll check for circulin in every alien patient that we're currently treating. Halen, we've been doctors too long to start asking who done it. All right, I've already got Ani digging back through previous postmortems. Great. There is a logical explanation at the bottom of this. Trust me. Cabral Rashad. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to Cabral start. Cabral Rashad. Hip translate. Cabral Rashad. 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 I know about the fight on Kelpo, and I'm sorry. Uh, All I really Cabral need to do Cabral is Cabral you are Rashad. upsetting Cabral my patient. Please, please, Cabral calm yourself. Cabral calm yourself. Cabral you are in no danger. Calm yourself. Cabral Rashad. Dr. Maxwell. Cabral Rashad. Dr. Maxwell, may I ask what you're doing here? Yes, there's an ISC investigator on board who thinks that somebody is after our borderline alien patients. So, as a precautionary measure, I need to get fluid samples from every alien patient to check for abnormal hormone levels. I appreciate your concern, but I promised my patient that he would not be touched by human hands. If it's all the same to you, I'll collect the sample. What's with all this poking around? You know how it is. Somebody else fire, and I see pulls out all their hoses. 
What can I do you for? I'm curious about the hormone circulin. How much of it we have in stock? Circulin, eh? Uh, let me check. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't worry about any shortages there. We've been getting a full case of it around every six months or so. Really? Who's been placing the order? Do you know? Uh, they've all been for Dr. Maxwell. Are you sure? An unsure pharmacist is an unemployed pharmacist, Doc. Yeah. Thanks, Molly. CJ, are you there? Right here, Johnny. What happened to the transplant? I wasn't able to do it. I'm sorry. This time, the damage is much deeper. Your optic nerves are very badly corroded. I see. Well, surely you have an idea about how to fix that in your handsome head? We can attempt to repair the nerves with an operation, but you need to know it's risky. How risky? If it doesn't work, there is a good chance you'll be left with less sight than you have now. Right. So it's all or nothing, then. <laughs> Not much of a cartographer in this condition, you know. Yes, I know. So, CJ, if you were seeing things from my perspective, what would you do? I'm not sure, Joni. But I would definitely want to think it over carefully before I made the call, so maybe you should too. I'm well aware of the rocky history between humans and other species, the early periods of exploitation, the wars, but now at least we have a framework for peaceful coexistence. And yet you yourself were ordered to work here as a representative of the Shen, were you not? To advance the art of medicine for all life forms. It was a sacrifice I accepted. And during your tenure, have you ever seen a non-human mistreated by any one of the Mercy Point staff? Intentionally, no. And unintentionally? There are far better uses for my time than watching you tell secrets. Very well. Just one more question, Dr. Berton. When a non-human patient dies, are you ever consulted on the cause of death findings? Only if I am the attending physician. And even then, they must still be signed off by the primary alien physiologist. And that would be? By Dr. Maxwell, of course. And from rechecking the tissue analysis on those other postmortems, I found that there were still trace amounts of circulin in each of them. Who was the primary on those cases? They were all Dr. Maxwell's patients. Should I take these results to Dr. Tamela now? No, no, I'll do it. Hey. What's up? It's Joanne Collingswood. Yeah, I heard you couldn't do the transplant. No, you were right. The damage from her last trip out was too extensive. Her only option now is my chronic surgery. You sure she's ready to take that chance? I've asked her to think it over, but I'd like you to see her one more time before she makes a final decision. Can you take her up to olfactory on 7? To uh, talk her in or out of it. To make sure that I don't let my influence maybe get in the way of what's best for her. That's all. Sure. No problem. Thank you. And if she still decides to go ahead with it, I could use an assistant OR, assuming you'd be interested. Dr. Breslauer, you'll be expected in the conference room at 1900 hours for questioning. Let me ask you something, Sport. Is there anybody in this hospital you're not going to rake over the calls? As a matter of fact, Dr. Gerardo, no. Grove, can I talk to you? Sure. Uh, so far, all of our current alien cases are showing normal levels of circulant. But it turned up in the post-mortem analysis the last four that we lost. And when it gets worse, you were the primary attending physician in all the cases. Halen, I handled 90% of the alien cases. What are you trying to say? I'm not finished. According to the pharmacy records, you've been ordering large quantities of circulin over the past <sighs> year. That can't be right, Ken. Of course not. Why would I? 
You're not seriously asking me if I had anything to do with I this. I didn't say that. But the thought crossed your mind. Look, what I think doesn't matter. The uh. point is Locke has got the files by now, and you can bet that he's putting them together in order to point a finger at you. Dr. Maxwell, you're needed in recovery. It's the Souchere. He's crashing. Oh, 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 He's going into oh, anaproxic oh, shock. Precious oh, dropping. 50, 50 megs amphetadrine. 50 megs amphetadrine. Wait. I made the same mistake. Amphetadrine will only make it worse. Dr. Maxwell. Listen to me. If he's spiking on circulant, he's going to need 100 megs of boronol, or you can call his death right now. Hundred megs of boronol. Hundred megs of boronol. Any particular reason why you nearly lost this patient, Dr. DeMillo? Not sure. There may have been an imbalance in his hormone levels. Too much circulant, perhaps. I seem to keep running across it in the vials. Tell me, is he Dr. Maxwell's patient, too? No. But Dr. Maxwell is the reason the suture is still alive. Well, I'm relieved to hear that. But in light of this incident, I must insist that all your non-human patients be confined to a separate ward. And why would I agree to segregate this hospital? Because it will make it easier for the military to guarantee their safety. The JMF is currently en route. Unless you'd rather try and convince the ISC there is still no problem here. Don't push me too far, Locke. On the contrary, Doctor, I'm doing everything I can to protect your position. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another statement to hear. I need to speak to you. So despite the fact that you have just recently arrived here as a new resident, Dr. Maxwell permits you to treat non-human patients? Well, Dr. Maxwell believes the only way to really learn alien medicine is by hands-on experience. Take the thwok, for instance. I notified Dr. Maxwell when the patient first arrived. I gave him updates at every stage of treatment and at the first sign of trouble, I notified him immediately. So you'd say he was more than just a little involved in the case? Yes, but Dr. Maxwell's involved in all of his cases. Thank you, Dr. Breslauer. That will be all. He went to grope with all this? He's not just my colleague. Harris, he's my friend. We're all friends here, Halen. Did he offer an explanation? No. How can he explain something that isn't true? Be careful, Halen. Don't let your personal feelings cloud your judgment. Our first responsibility is to protect our patients. And protecting Grote is protecting our patients, Harris. Dr. Breslauer, Mr. Locke is ready to see you now. Should be right in. You know AMBC, Jane, his ambitions for soaring out into the Sahatic. Beyond being dashing, he's very brave. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Thought you would. You've taken quite a liking to him, haven't you? No. Why would you say that? Oh, I've always been the observant type. When you look around for a living, you wind up seeing quite a lot. Even now. They used to be such gloriously tiny points of light. And now each star might as well be a galaxy. I do believe I'd risk almost anything to see them again. Even blindness? It's a terrifying prospect, I'll grant you, but I'm afraid the possibility of seeing the heavens again blinds me more than anything else. I understand you've been conducting something of your own investigation. Well, when you alerted us to the problem, we decided it was only prudent to look into it. More than prudent, since your inquiry began before I even arrived. I'm sure I don't need to remind you that you're under oath. I'm aware of that. Good. In that case, did your findings reveal anything that suggested Dr. Maxwell might be involved? There are any number of possibilities, which we... A simple yes or no will suffice, Doctor. Maybe, but... I... Then will you please tell us what you found? 
a string of purely circumstantial evidence. Nothing else. I see. Did you study law as a student at the Hopkins Colony? No, I thought about it and then decided on medicine instead. Very well, then I'll be the judge of what is purely circumstantial. And you pass out the Band-Aids when we're done. Excellent call on the subcranial grafts. Oh, I just hope it holds Joanne's optic sheaths together. Well, if the nerve rejects the new tissue, we will know soon enough. Either way, wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Thanks. My pleasure. You know, you should try and catch a few Zs. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but uh, you look like you've been through hell. <laughs> Is there any right way to take that? You don't look much better. Touche. Dr. Gerardo, we're ready for you now. Oh, good, good. I've been waiting for this slither on. So all of the non-humans who died were patients of Dr. Maxwell, isn't that correct? As were hundreds of aliens whom he saved. He is our primary alien physiologist. And in addition to the Thwok, all were found to have high levels of circulin in their systems, weren't they? Look, I'm sure that was just... According to your pharmacy records, there was only one doctor who ordered regular supplies of circulin from Intermed. Can you tell us who it was? Shall I bring you up on charges of withholding evidence? Crap. I beg your pardon. Speak up, please. Dr. Maxwell. And is it possible for anyone else to fake a doctor's prescription? Not unless they figure out how to rip off someone else's eyes and vocal cords. We don't order any meds unless the voice pattern and retinal print are verified with Intermed's data banks. And only Dr. Maxwell could have ordered meds in his name. You want to put words into my mouth? Then, yeah. That's how the system works. Dr. Gerardo, I really only have one simple question for you. Good, so do I. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know what, I'll go first. What the hell are you thinking? I beg your pardon. I'm serious. I have known Groat Maxwell since before I landed at Mercy Point. And whether you can actually comprehend such a concept, he is the finest alien physiologist I've ever had the honor to work with. Duly noted, Doctor, but hardly relevant. How so? Well, correct me if I'm wrong. OK, you're wrong. Your level of experience in dealing with aliens is quite inferior compared to Dr. Maxwell's. So is yours. Point being? Point being, that's exactly why you've asked him to supply you with a letter of recommendation for the next Sahartic mission, isn't it? That's my business. And my business is demonstrating what a terrible character witness you are. That will be all. I wish I could say it was a pleasure. No, of course. The pleasure of your presence is all mine. Hmm. Say your name and occupation for the record. Grote Maxwell primary alien physiologist. Dr. Maxwell, is it true that you've been treating alien patients since before the ISC sanctioned the practice of interspecies care? I took an oath to treat the sick and injured regardless of race, creed, or species, so I don't need a governing body to tell me who I should or should not help. A very liberal approach. I wonder if your father would feel the same way. He wouldn't. Your family resided on a mining colony while you were growing up, a colony on which certain spacist views were commonplace. Oh, yes. Your mother died of lunar pneumonia. You've always held the alien workers responsible. No. Case 11673, you were overheard by an orderly describing the yurts as an idle subspecies. Uh, on a mining camp, there were some who were less motivated than others, but then again, they had good reason. They lived in a lousy, filthy, dirty, oppressed place. Case 12598, a Kretsch female was brought in, suffering a broken tailbone. You were assigned the case, but you insisted a co-worker handle it. I was busy with another patient. She was in pain. She was treated. Not by you. Look, if you're going to arrest me for working my ass off, then just do it, because I could use the break. Otherwise, I'm going to cut your little inquisition short. I've got um, rounds to make. Harris, all this 
investigator is doing is twisting words and lobbying accusations. I'm sorry, but the evidence does suggest. What are you saying? I'm saying that I have to put your interests and even my interests after those of the hospital. And in order to protect its charter and its reputation, and until we can all get to the bottom of all this. <laughs> I have no choice but to suspend your privileges as a physician at Mercy Point. Yep, increase light slowly to point two. All right, Joanne, here we go. I'm gonna take your bandages off now. I want you to tell me the moment you feel any pain at all. Your eyes are gonna be very sensitive. We hope. True. I'm right here, Joanne, right beside you. Good. If you're not holding his hand, do you mind holding mine? Maximum brightness, Dr. Gerardo. <sighs> I've spent a long time looking at this great big universe. I only wish I'd look more carefully. Staring at me with a beautiful woman like her in the room. <laughs> you can see? <laughs> yes. I don't believe I've ever felt a more wonderful thing. <laughs> uh, great, then I guess I'll just uh, hand these over. The uh, Atronet, three beads, hydrate, change of dressing. Um, there's a herniated tentacle in orthopedics that someone should check on. Daza with gill rot in two, and of course the Espressima case in four. I see that these are passed on to the non-human staff in the segregated ward as soon as possible, I know. Yes, doctor. That pretty much does it. Segregated, just leapt back three centuries. Crow, I. Are we late for a party? Dr. Maxwell has been suspended and confined to quarters pending completion of this investigation. Oh, Kim, you... CJ, just let her go. She's got a job to do, and so do the rest of you. Son of a bitch, they are gonna hang him out to dry. We've gotta do something. No. Are those the blood samples from the segregated ward? Yes, Bortok. I was making a delivery up there, and they asked me to bring these down to, to the, the forensic lab, Wing C. Yeah. Well, I'll save you the trip. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Enter. Dr. Breslauer said I might find you here. And only here. What's up? I have been recalled by the Shen. In light of this recent unpleasantness, they are concerned for my safety. The list of casualties keeps growing, doesn't it? For what it's worth, Dr. Maxwell, I want you to know that I, for one, give no credence to these charges. Thank you. But, um, I'm beginning to think that maybe I am guilty. Of murder? No of wasting the last 20 years of my life trying to bring the species together, only to find myself pulling them apart. Now, there's a piece of irony for you. Forgive my impatience with self-pity, Dr. Maxwell. I haven't much time. And as different as you and I may be, I have still come to you. Not because your heart is in the right place. That rarely guarantees a reward in this lifetime. Indeed, I have come to you because, in spite of it all, you are still very good at what you do. I've decided to delay my departure until I'm certain the Souchere is out of danger. I would appreciate your consult. I guess you haven't been informed. I'm aware of your suspension, but that is politics. 
Like yourself, I am only concerned with patience. If you would do us both the courtesy of meeting me in Recovery 9. <clears throat> Dr. B, twice in one day. What can I do you for this time? Morley, I need more information on the circular orders. Told you and this suits everything I know. If the computer says Maxwell placed them... Then he placed them, I know, but I don't believe it. So, I need to access your pharmaceutical data files, your logins, terminal numbers, and passwords. No can do. That's all classified. I'd lose my license. Look, I'm about to lose a friend to a witch hunt, Morley. Give me a break. Sorry, Doc. I can't do it. Certain rules cannot be broken. Certain bonds are about to be broken if you don't access that system. Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Depending on which ones he breaks, I may be able to fix them. Password, mortar, and pestle. Document user ID, memprint, Maxwell. Farm order, circulant, scan. Identify the terminal number. If someone's used Groat's password, we can trace their location. User position needs priority clearance. <laughs> Luckily, I happen to have one. Hip. Clearance Omega. Trace circulant orders. Dr. Maxwell's circulant orders originated from terminal beta 47. Grid location, Hip. Forensics lab, wing C. Breathing is shallow but stable. We may be looking at partial paralysis of the phytex muscle. Uh, may I? The consult was my idea, remember? I don't, I don't want to hurt you. You have to understand that. What's happening? I don't know. Pip! Hemolytic pressure is decreasing. Chance of respiratory failure increasing. We have to dose him again with Barnall. Stop! Baton, cardio wand. Five minute bees and three stem pulse. Put the cardio wand down, doctor. Baton, your patient is dying! Baton! Patient is deceased. Dr. Maxwell, you're under arrest for the murder of this non-human. And several others like him. Hortok, I want to talk to you. Simply showed them mercy. Well, you don't want to do that. There's nothing out there but nothing. Zero, as in gravity and pressure. It's a messy way to die. Don't speak to me of death. You don't know what it means to die. You know what? You're right. But today's not the day. No, 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 no! Thank you.